Sticking with the theme of St. Peter's, let's look at Bernini's Piazza for St. Peter's. So this is the area in front of the church itself. And to give you some orientation, obviously here's St. Peter's. Uh, the Sistine Chapel is back here. These are the uh, papal apartments. So you have an idea of what we're actually looking at. And we're focusing on this piazza in the front. Now, the colonnade and atrium were built in the tradition of the old St. Peter's, which we see here with that large piazza in front. This comes from early Christian architecture, where most of the churches would have had a large courtyard. This, of course, makes sense in the Mediterranean because the climate allows for it. Whereas if we were building it in Wisconsin, for example, you wouldn't want a big courtyard because you couldn't use it very much. But back to the structure. When Bernini is designing the piazza, he has to work around two different structures, really three. We've got the Egyptian obelisk in the center, and we have Moderno's two fountains out in the front. These features were used to define the long axis of this elliptical piazza. And in the piazza, we see uh, within these arms four rows of Tuscan columns, creating two colonnades, which end in classical temple fronts. Strangely pagan for what is arguably the center of Christianity in Europe, but he's using it from an architectural perspective. He's not trying to get at ancient Greek and Roman ideas. And even if he were, you could argue that under the ideas of Pope Sixtus V, this idea of recreating the glory of Rome, you would use Roman and Greek architectural features without the paganism that goes along with them. And they're meant to, or the colonnades, are meant to embrace visitors, symbolizing the church welcoming the flock. In fact, this is one of the drawings done to envision what this piazza is doing, minus the obviously broken humerus. The verticality of the colonnade also accentuates any verticality that can be found in the facade. This constant attempt to draw the eye up to the spiritual is going to be intentional. The complex ultimately fulfills the Counter-Reformation Church's need to present an awe-inspiring, authoritative view of itself. What the Church is trying to do is basically point out to the pious believer that this is the center of Christianity. This is the holiest place in Christendom, here in Rome, and that gives power to the papacy. They are at the center of this. So the symbolism is all very, very important. It's all about power and what's called papal primacy.